Hello friends. So now I am back with my new lecture and the topic of today's lecture is whether India is a sovereign country or not. Uh, you guys already know that uh, India is a sovereign country and that has been declared itself in the preamble itself. You know, uh, so uh, what has been written in the preamble which is a precursor you can say as a precursor to the constitution or which enshrines the ideals of the constitution and which is very much a part of our constitution. So, as declared by Supreme Court in Keshwanan Bharti case. So, <coughs> we the people of India, having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign, socially secular, democratic republic. So, so, sovereign is right there written on the top of the preamble. Sovereign, socially secular, democratic republic. What does this sovereign mean? We will study in today's lecture. So, sovereign means... The word sovereign implies that India is neither a dependency nor a dominion of or any other of any other nation, but an independent state. So India is an independent state. As you already know that after India got independence in 1947, still India has not got the true independence because India has got true independence on 26 January 1950. From 15th August 1947 till 26 January 1950, India was a dominion which was under the British uh, <coughs> British Commonwealth. इंडिया वाज़ डोमिनियन ऑफ ब्रिटिश कॉमनवेल्थ सो मैंने आपको ऑलरेडी एक लेक्चर में समझाया है कि इसका क्या मतलब था कि इंडिया में जो सेना थी दैट वाज डिफेंस फोर्स वाज ऑल वाज अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ द ब्रिटिश इंडियन फॉरेन अफेयर्स वाज अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ ब्रिटिश एंड स्टिल द किंग होल्ड्स द टाइटल ऑफ द एम्पर ऑफ इंडिया द क्वीन एक्चुअली दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम होल्ड्स द टाइटल ऑफ द एम्प्रेस ऑफ इंडिया सो दैट इंडिया वाज़ स्टिल द डोमिनियन ऑफ you know of the british till 26 january 1950 but on 26 january 1950 when india was declared a republic at that point of time you can say india has truly become a sovereign country so ye kisi ki dominion nahi hai kisi ki dependency nahi hai kisi ke under mein nahi hai india is an independent country there is no authority above it <coughs> it is free to conduct its own affairs internal external affairs ke liye free hai conduct karne ke liye India is internally and externally sovereign, externally free from the control of any foreign power and internally it has a free government that is directly elected by the people and makes laws that govern the people. No external power can dictate the government of India. So, now we say that Rahul Gandhi was talking about what he said that the US and European countries should interfere because in India he was saying that so-called India, uh, the democracy has been already killed in India but it has been uh, washed away from India, democracy. तो बोल रहे थे कि यूरोपियन कंट्री मस्ट इंटरफेयर इन द अफेयर्स ऑफ इंडिया बट द नरेंद्र मोदी गवर्नमेंट और द प्रेजेंट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एज क्लियरली इट रिट्रेटेड अगेन एंड अगेन दैट इंडिया इज अ सॉवरन कंट्री एंड विल नॉट यू नो नो फॉरेन कंट्री कैन इंटरफेयर इन द अफेयर्स ऑफ इंडिया कैन डिक्टेट इट्स इट्स ऑर्डर टू इंडिया इसी वजह से हमने जो हमें जो सस्ता तेल मिला रूस से हमने लिया रशिया से वी हैव परचेज you know the oil from india uh, from russia uh, at a cheaper rate in spite of the sanctions imposed by the western countries on russia because we are sovereign we can take our own decisions based on the interest so our so uh, decisions uh, the government take based on the considering the larger interest of the people or the welfare of the country so that is truly a welfare uh, a sovereign country so being of a sovereign state india can either acquire a foreign territory or see the part of its territory in favor of a foreign state so koi bhi foreign territory hum occupy kar sakte hain occupy karne ke liye hame koi amendment nahi chahiye simple ek kanun ek simple majority se kanun banega aur wo hamare territory ho jayegi but to cede of its territory to india to other country uske liye ek constitutional amendment hoti hai under article 368 but because we are a foreign uh, sovereign country we can acquire any territory out from outside or we can seed our any territory inside to other country so that is truly a sovereign country so sovereign country hone ka kya matlab hai we can take our own decisions we can we are not dependent dependent on anybody any country we are not a dominion of any country we can take our own decisions we have a free elected government we are sovereign internally as well externally and we can uh, you know acquire any foreign country or foreign territory and we can cede our territory to any external country so that is a sovereign country so this is the definition of sovereign which is uh, you know written in preamble itself okay in the next lecture we will study uh, 
uh, another topic of Indian polity. Thank you so much and kindly subscribe to my channel and like my lecture and do not forget to press the bell icon and notification button. Thank you very much.